Hi everyone, this is Carolyn Lang. Nice to see you again this evening. Uh, I had an awesome meeting uh, with our team <clears throat> online. We used a cool app called Zoom and it was a way that we could all get online and, and you know everybody can be seen and they have a presentation. You can do screen shares, all kinds of nifty things. But the team part was it was very encouraging and exciting to be online with everybody and it's as if they're in the room and we had people from all over the country and Canada so it was very very exciting but in that it really inspired me to make sure that I included these three uh, very important must-haves for your daily method of operation so tonight Sunday night I'm getting things ready for this upcoming week and three things that I'm going to be including that needs to be done in my operation are uh, focusing on the income producing activities <clears throat> excuse me and those three things for the income producing activities are the first one is to make sure that you're creating new relationships and building new friendships um, the network marketing business is a relationship business and so if you don't have your pipeline filled with people that you are uh, getting to know and building networks with and relationships with then you won't have a business for very long so contacting 20 people, um, I'm using Facebook to reach out to more people that I uh, don't have access to in my smaller town here. But 20 people each day, you can call them um, with a customized message, or I shouldn't say call, you can contact them with a customized message using Facebook Messenger. And that way, you know, it really take a look at their profile, see if it's somebody that you'd like to get to know better, um, maybe like a couple of their um, <clears throat> posts if you can, and then send them a little Facebook Messenger. Even better, record a message live using Facebook Messenger, uh, like an answering machine message, dating myself again, but use, you know, say who you are, where you saw them, how you met them via Facebook, or if you, if this may be contacting somebody that you knew from, uh, you know, years ago, or maybe you just met them at the gym or something and you wanted to contact them, you know, reach out, identify where you saw them and give them a compliment, something that attracted you to them and uh, just to say hi. And then, you know, you build that relationship, getting to know them. I mean, it, um, just like dating, you get to know somebody for a while before you pop the question, right? So the same thing goes here. You need to build up that relationship, find out if what, they, what their needs are, what their goals are, if that's something that you can help them with or serve them in some way. That's the whole point of the profession. So 20, 20 people a day to reach out to, 20 new people a day that you reach out to, um, and then the second one is actually picking up the phone with three people. So if you have met somebody, you've moved the relationship forward, so now you know uh, maybe a need that they have or some kind of a pain point that you can help them solve because that's we're in the business of uh, building relationships and helping other people solve problems. So when you've got to that point, then you can reach out to three people a day and make phone calls if you are actively really trying to grow your business then five people a day so that you make some more progress because of course you can reach out to five but perhaps do not reach them but again you can use the Facebook Messenger on on the the live call thingy and, and if you don't have their phone number you can actually click the, the um, phone icon and it will dial via Facebook Messenger so you can call them and not even have to have their phone number so that's a really slick trick um, the other part is the third point I should say is to follow up with three people whom you've already reached out to every day so you have the 20 new people the three to five people that you are actively trying to reach out to to set appointments with I mean that's the whole um, one of the main things is to set appointments so that you can actually do a presentation and find out what you can do to help them. And then the third one is to follow up. Uh, pick up the phone and talk to these people 
and follow up with them if you've already t spoken with them, if you they wanted more information. You know, they say that very few people, I don't remember the percentages, my friend Michelle had point, uh, put something out there about percentages, but like uh, less than 25% of people actually follow up and then it takes five to eight times before somebody actually joins you or uh, buys whatever you're selling if you have a business that you're you're selling something in but it takes all of those t touches for them to get to know you like you and trust you enough that yeah maybe that is something that I'm interested in so those are the three primary daily method of operation um, items that I will be incorporating a couple of other things that you need to do daily as well is to have your personal development time if you don't have your mindset right if you don't have the enthusiasm um, for your life for your business uh, you're not going to attract too many people to you I mean what is that uh, <clears throat> you draw more flies with honey so you need to have that attractive personality and um, so the personal development is so very important and then the other one would be just to be working on your skill set so that you're constantly learning and growing and improving your skills whether it be your being comfortable picking up the phone uh, if you're trying to leave messages, if you're trying, you know, improve your messaging, uh, learn more about your business or about your company so that you can actually reach out to these people and answer questions if they might have them. Or if you're trying to become an expert in your area, let's say you're a travel, um, you're in a travel business and you know absolutely nothing about travel, well, I think maybe that's something you better learn about so that you can become an expert in your business and actually help people with their problem solving. So to recap, the first most important one was to actually reach out and make 20 new contacts a day that might be adding to your list if you have a list system. The second one was to make three to five phone calls and try to actually contact these people and um, invite them to a presentation. The third one was to follow up with people who have already uh, been a customer or has seen a presentation and you know follow up. When you've done all the hard work of building relationships and inviting them and showing a presentation, well then don't drop the ball now. Follow up and see if you can help them out. Um, and add to that personal development and improving your skill set. So now you know what I will be doing this next week. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment in the, um, you know, drop down in the comments and leave a question or um, contact me in that way, I guess. So I hope this helps out and we'll be talking with you again soon. Take care. Good night.